Hello, my name is Dennis Lang. I'm the Provincial Pulse Specialist with Manitoba Agriculture and Resource Development. Today we're going to be doing a cracked seed coat test on some dry bean seed. The reason we want to do this test is we want to see if we have any damaged seed or high cracks. If you have high cracks in your seed, what you will see when the plant comes up is you'll see what's called a bald head. Let's have a look at what a bald head looks like. So this is what bald head would look like in the field. You can see by this image, you have a, a short stumpy plant, does not have a true healthy growing point. What you would like to see though, is something like this, where you have nice true leaves coming forward and uh, think the plant looks nice and healthy. If you have too many of these bald heads, what can happen is that these do not produce healthy plants. Thus, you got, have to consider this a non-plant and typically will not produce any significant yield. So you don't want too many of those in the field. And today we're gonna to look at crack seed coats in dry beans and how to make a determination if your seed quality is good or if you have to increase your seeding rate. In front of us, we see 100 dark red kidney bean seeds that have been laid out flat in a small pan. Uh, visually, the seed looks pretty good. It doesn't seem to show any visual cracks, but let's soak these seeds and see what happens. So now I've added water to this container and I'm going to let these beans soak for two, three minutes before I start looking at them really closely. But overall, you want to soak these beans for no more than five minutes. Uh, within that five minute period, you will see all the cracks that show up. Now, when I quickly look in, first thing I see is something like this. This particular seed, when you open it up, that's a full crack. That one there, you, we're going to pull out and we're going to set aside. Uh, we're going to look a little bit further in here and see what else we see. Now we're starting to see some hairline cracks. If you look here, ever so gently, and you can peel that little piece back here, that's, what, that's the hairline cracks that I'm really looking for. And I'm going to pull all these out and start to see whether or not we're going to have a significant amount in here. So with this sample, I've been letting it soak for five minutes and gently swirling the seed back and forth. As I've been doing that, I've been looking for any seed that is cracked visually. And some are more pronounced than others. You can see here by uh, some seeds here, they're split right in half, like this one here. And some are not as pronounced, but you can still see here that seed coat is just starting to come off like that. So I count all those up. I come up with 15%. So in this case, what this means is that the seed lot was fairly dry going in and every time you handle that seed, whether it be at the cleaning plant, the treating plant, or just going into your seeding equipment, any rough handling of that seed will cause those cracked seed coats to increase. So if you do this just before planting, you have a pretty good idea of whether or not you need to increase your rate. In this particular case, I would increase my rate by 10 to 12% just to help compensate for the cracks that you see in the sample. If you don't do that and you just use the germination as your, as your guideline, then what can happen is instead of having a plant stand of 75 or 85,000 plants in that range, you might be down to more like 50 or 45,000. And that becomes a real challenge when it comes to weed control and also getting good yields. So hope, hopefully you find this helpful and thank you for now.